by the dictionary meaning of a processor a processor is something which processes information right now in microprocessor or in electronic language this information is in the form of digital bits 0 or 1 right so microprocessor or rather a processor is something which processes the information which is in the form of 0 and 1 what is the meaning of processes the information well uh, it carries on arithmetic operations on the information that is received it stores the information and it delays the information transmittance right so basically microprocessor is a hardware device which consists of three basic things the arithmetic logic unit which does the arithmetic logic operations of addition and multiplication on the digital information then there are registers registers are basically components used to store the digital information then there is a clock clock uh, is basically used to generate cycles right we often see a 12 megahertz clock a 16 megahertz clock a 4 megahertz clock in various hardware components uh, clock is basically a timer circuit which generates clock cycles and the microprocessor unit works on the clock cycles for example in the arithmetic logic unit arithmetic operations are done in terms of clock cycles that is for a given microcontroller or a microprocessor after certain number of clock cycles the certain operation gets uh, the certain operation ends right so these number of clock cycles depend upon uh, the speed of operation of the uh, or rather the speed of operation of the microprocessor depends upon the number of clock cycles it takes to do a certain operation so the clock is a very necessary thing which just rather generates clock pulses and in a certain number of clock pulses you can do a certain operation so examples are Intel's processors which we use in our desktops and laptops and one of the Intel's very early processor was the 8085 processor uh, which is mostly in the academic syllabus of engineering students and uh, Intel has developed far too many processors the 8085 is, is, is probably a very old processor by now but still it's important because it's one of the most basic microprocessors right micro in the sense uh, because they are very they are very small in size right in the early 1960s processors uh, engulfed uh, uh, a large area as large as a room right so it was very difficult uh, to process the information uh, with the transistor boom uh, millions of chips could be assembled on a millimeter square of area and then the processing speed increased right what is a microcontroller a microcontroller is basically a device which contains a microprocessor along with it it may contain external memory general purpose input output pins and in embedded systems microcontroller is used to do one task at a time right and to do it for a continuously long period of time as long as power is supplied to it so a microcontroller apart from a micro, uh, apart from a processor has an external memory which can be adjusted for example in the raspberry pi initial versions has to had 256 megabytes of memory now it's around 1 gigabytes so the external memory can be adjusted and general purpose input output pins or hardware interfacing in the real world can be done something uh, which is very very useful so the basic 